This is a quick video tutorial. The HydroRain Beehive irrigation controller. It's a time-based irrigation controller. It does have the option for that Wi-Fi enabled feature with a free app that you can put on your phone. But we find a lot of customers just don't like to use that. So this is how to program it to get it to set up to run for basically to irrigate your lawn. So right now we're in the automatic position. What we're gonna do is get it programmed. First feature is manual. So if we turn the dial down to manual, we'll hit push the button to accept. We can do all, or we can do an individual zone. So for example, we want to water zone one, we'll click it. We want, whoops, go back to zone one a second here. We'll click it again, it goes up the amount of time. Click it one more time, and now it's watering zone one. If we hit back, it'll show zone one for four minutes running manually. What we'll do is we'll clear that out. The next thing is setting the date and time. What it's going to do is first going to come to the year, and then if we ever want to adjust it, it's up and down. Click the button again to go to the month. Click the button again one more time to go to the day. Ultimately, we'll click it again. It goes to the hour. If we want to adjust it, same thing, turning the dial. Click it one more time. We can turn the dial to adjust the minutes up and down. We'll click it one more time. And then we'll go to start time. Go back up. Click it. So what this has is program A, B, C, and D, up to four start times per program. Right now, we're going to have just program A. What we'll do is we'll set it for 7 a.m. So we're on number one. We'll click it one time, go up to seven. Perfect. Now what we'll do is hit back. Now we'll look at the run times per zone. So what we have is four zones here. So we got zone one is for eight minutes. Let's bump that up to 10. So we'll click it one time. Zone 2, click it one time, let's go up to 12 minutes, click it again, goes the through, zone 3 is for 4 minutes, and zone 4 is for 6 minutes, perfect. And what we'll do is we'll hit the back button again one more time, and what we'll do is go to how often, we'll click it. Right now, we don't have any day set up to water, so what we'll do is we'll click on Sunday, We'll skip Monday, we'll click on Tuesday, skip Wednesday, we'll click on Thursday, skip Friday, click on Saturday. So what we're doing is setting up to water every other day. If there's a box around it, ultimately what it's going to do is water on that particular day. What we'll do is hit the back button one more time. We'll go to budget. What that is is a seasonal adjust feature or a budgeted amount. Right now it's watering 100% of the times that we have set. If we want to adjust that, let's say it's um, late July, very warm outside, what we can do is put 120% on it. What it's going to do is water 120% of the times or run times that we have currently set. Other than that, we'll hit back one more time, and we'll go down to off. Ultimately, shuts the controller off. Hit back one more time, and we'll go back up to automatic. And right now it's set to come on at seven o'clock in the morning for the times that we have set watering every other day. One other unique feature is the rain delay feature. If we click that button, what it's gonna say is it'll water for 24 hours. Now we can use the dial and go all the way up to 31 days as a delay feature. Kind of a unique thing if you don't have a rain, excuse me, 32 days. It's kind of a unique feature if you don't have a rain sensor. Um, basically a way to help water management your irrigation system. Other than that, we can clear that. Right now, our time-based irrigation controller is programmed to run at 7 o'clock in the morning for the times that we have set.